In order to end his life under the influence of others, Lu Man chose to marry a stranger. From then on, life seemed to be as amazing as cheating. Little dilapidated clinics have unknowingly become well-known medical centers. The scumbag who threatened her inexplicably disappeared from her side. Bullying her top-notch relatives, they frantically raised their hands and surrendered. Even the ferocious outlaws on the road would cry and ask the young lady to spare her life when they saw her. She hesitated and turned her head to look at the calm and composed man beside her, saying, Why do they call me the Xiao Grandma? The man explained strictly, Because I am the eldest in the family. Everyone rolled their eyes and said, Grandmother, haven't you realized your identity as a wealthy and noble lady yet? Novel keyword. Shocking. After the flash marriage, she became a billionaire without pop-ups, shocked. After her flash marriage, she became a billionaire rich woman. The complete download of TXT is shocking. After her flash marriage, she became a billionaire woman. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Flash Marriage. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Flash Marriage February 14th, Valentine's Day. Lu Man stood at the entrance of the Civil Affairs Bureau, watching the slogans circulating on the electronic screen. Marriage carries risks and requires caution. And she, on this widely recognized day suitable for marriage, married herself out. Married a man she didn't even know. Man man, take a look, this is my great-grandson. Grandma Tang, dressed in simple clothes, happily introduced her great-grandson to Lu Man. Lu Man looked at the tall and handsome man standing opposite, with a cold aura, and was shocked. This is what Grandma Tang talks about as marital difficulties, and being over thirty and unable to find her wife's grandson. Three months ago, she saved Grandma Tang from being hit by a motorcycle on the road. Grandma Tang, in order to thank her, sends her special products and various delicious foods every once in a while. Every time, Grandma Tang treats her like a granddaughter and always mentions her great-grandson in front of her. It is said that his great-grandson works in a large company and has reached the position of manager. Although his annual salary is good, his love life is bumpy, and he is already 30 years old and has not even talked about a girlfriend. She also said that her elderly family has a total of seven grandchildren, except for the youngest two who are still in school, and none of her granddaughters have ever been taken home, which makes her elderly family very worried. After learning that she was over 25 years old and had never had a boyfriend, she insisted on introducing her grandson to her. At first, she refused. Although she was already 25 years old, she didn't want to step into the grave of marriage early. Like her sister, she gave up her dreams and revolved around her children and husband every day. But a few days ago, my sister and brother in law had a big argument because of her. Your sister should keep her good work and insist on going to her shabby clinic. She lives with me, eats with me, and just give her 2,000 yuan for living expenses per month. You're lucky. Surprisingly, he even gave her money back. 50,000. Do you think all the money I earn working in the hospital comes from strong winds? From now on, don't expect me to give you another penny. She and her sister are orphans who have relied on each other since childhood. When her sister got married, she has been living with her sister ever since. Last June, she officially graduated from medical school. When her sister heard from her brother in law that his supervisor was in need of an assistant, she asked him to take her and her supervisor for a meal to get to know each other. The supervisor was also satisfied with her education and internship experience, and she thought the job would be settled like this. Unexpectedly, that leader is a good lecherous person, always giving her various hints and occasionally making phone calls to harass her, saying that as long as she is willing, she will be arranged to start work immediately. My brother in law seemed to be aware of this matter, just turning a blind eye. She didn't dare to tell her sister, afraid that she would argue with her brother in law over this matter, so she gave up the opportunity to go to the hospital to work. For this reason, her brother in law also scolded her for a long time, 
saying that she was not worthy of praise, causing him to be unable to be a good person in front of the leader. The competitiveness of going to the hospital for job hunting is too great. Her brother dot in dot law's leader always threatens her, saying that as long as he says hello, no hospital dares to hire her. Helplessly, in September last year, she and her classmate and best friend Si Nguyen opened a small clinic together. Opening a clinic also requires investment, so my sister took out the money left behind by her parents. When she was very young, her sister said that her parents left about 200,000 yuan to support their education and living. Now there is still about 50,000 yuan left, which her sister has been keeping and her brother dot in dot law is unaware of. A few days ago, for some reason, my brother dot in dot law discovered the bill, and the two of them had a big argument. In fact, she originally wanted to move out of her sister's house and rent a house, but her sister said it was unsafe for a girl to rent a house early and return late, and she firmly refused to let her move. Recently, she happened to be pestered by Grandma Tang to marry her great-grandson. After careful consideration, she agreed to Grandma Tang's request. I believe only by getting married can my sister feel at ease. Only by getting married can the brother dot in dot law's leader completely give up. Otherwise, the brother dot in dot law's leader always pesters her and she is also very worried. Grandma Tang is a romantic person. She said that getting a certificate on Valentine's Day today has commemorative significance. She urged her to bring her household registration book to the Civil Affairs Bureau early in the morning. However, before seeing Grandma Tang's great-grandson, she had always thought that a 30-year-old man with a high salary had not talked about a girlfriend, so he should have a physical defect or a worried appearance. Now it seems that this is not the case he looks even more beautiful than the big stars on TV. So at first glance, she was startled. Hello Mr. Tang, I'm Lu Man. She slowly reached out and smiled at the tall, expressionless man across from her. The man's emotionless gaze scanned her coldly like X.rays, from top to bottom, making her feel like a transparent person in front of him. After a while, he expressionlessly extended his hand and lightly shook Lu Man's hand, and his voice was cold. Tang Yu. Grandma Tang, standing beside her, breathed a sigh of relief and then looked at Lu Man urging with a smile, Man Man, there are so many people getting their licenses today. Hurry up and take out your household registration book, and you and a you will also queue up. Lu Man nodded and took out his household registration book from his bag. Her household registration was originally only for her and her sister. Her sister had been married for three years, and in order to prevent her from being lonely, she did not transfer her household registration to her brother dot in dot law's house. She still stayed with her. Today, she secretly took out her household registration book without telling her sister. The two of them lined up at the registration window one in front and one behind. Not to mention, there are indeed many people today, perhaps all to make do with February 14th. Tang Yu stood behind her, feeling as if there was a cabinet air conditioner standing behind her, the cold air blowing. After waiting for about half an hour, it was finally the turn of the two people. When submitting the documents, Tang Yu suddenly turned his head to look at her and said, Miss Lu still has time to regret it now. Tang Yu hoped that Lu Man would change his mind at the last minute, because he also did not want to marry an unfamiliar woman whom he would meet once. Unexpectedly, Lu Man smiled and handed over his documents to the staff. Since she has made a decision, she will not change. I don't know if it's an illusion, but she seemed to see a hint of mockery in Tang Yu's eyes. The whole process took over ten minutes, it was quite fast. Looking at the freshly baked red wedding certificate, Lu Man had a dreamy feeling. Are we getting married now? At her naive age, she once longed for love and also wanted to marry a man who was both talented and beautiful, and loved her in the future. But now, fantasy has been defeated by reality, and she can only choose to marry a stranger to solve her current predicament. Grandma Tang, who was waiting, saw the two of them each bringing out a red notebook with even brighter smiles. She walked up and confiscated their marriage certificates. 
Grandma will keep this marriage certificate for you first to avoid losing it. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Testing Character. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Testing Character Lu Man looked at Grandma Tang holding her marriage certificate in her pocket like a treasure, feeling a bit amused. Ayuya, please exchange your contact information with Man Man and make it easier to contact him in the future. Tang Yue frowned and took out his phone to look at Lu Man, his eyes cold and penetrating. Lu Man quickly took out his phone and opened WeChat, saying, Let me scan you. Tang Yu let out a cold hum and opened his friend code. Lu Man took a look at Tang Yu's WeChat name, which is very official and his own name. However, her WeChat name is also her name, and the road ahead is long. Two people are half a pound and eight tails. This is the key to the new house, located in the Riverside Imperial City. Tang Yu took out a key and handed it to Lu Man. Lu Man nodded and raised his hand to take the key. She heard Grandma Tang say that Tang Yu had already bought a house in the Riverside Imperial City as a wedding house, but unfortunately, he never found a partner. It's so long. If you go back today, pack up and move to your new house. That will be your home in the future, right? Grandma Tang narrowed her eyes with a smile. Finally abducted a granddaughter-in-law back, she's waiting to hold her great-grandson Lu Man nodded and said, Good Grandma. She married Tang Yu just to find a place to settle down. She didn't live with her sister and was despised by her brother. In law, causing conflicts between the two because of her. Here's this card for you. There are 100,000 yuan in it. You can buy whatever you need at home. In the future, I will transfer 5,000 yuan into it every month as family living expenses. Tang Yu took out another bank card and handed it to Lu Man. Upon seeing this, Lu Man immediately shook his head and said, No need, you bought the house. Whatever needs to be added to the house, just use my money. After opening the clinic, she still has a savings of 30,000 to 50,000 yuan, which should be enough to buy a household. Lu Man doesn't want to be like his sister, always being told by her brother. In law that she reaches out to him every day for money to spend, and she can make money herself so she doesn't want to always use his money. Long time, just take it for you. This is his responsibility as a husband. There are so many things missing in your new house that you can't ask him for more, Grandma Tang smiled. Lu Man saw Tang Yu feeling a bit impatient, so he had to take his bank card and said, Okay. She'll take it first, just don't spend it. Grandma, I have to go to the company to be busy. Can I take you home first? Tang Yu looked at Grandma Tang with a particularly respectful attitude, completely different from his treatment of Lu Man. Lu Man remembered what Grandma Tang had told her before, saying that although Tang Yuren was careful and considerate when he cooled down, as long as she could melt him, his childhood would definitely be happy and fulfilling. But she dare not think so much, she just hopes that the two can respect each other like guests. You and Man Man have only obtained the certificate. You two should go find a place to have a good chat, don't worry about me. Grandma Tang shook her head. Tang Yu seemed helpless and said, Grandma, my company is really busy, there will be plenty of time to chat in the future. Lu Man also said, Yes, Grandma, let's let him go back to the company first to get busy. Then you have to send them back for a long time, right? Grandma Tang snorted to her grandson. Lu Man immediately pointed to a pink electric donkey parked not far away and said, Grandma, I rode my own bike here, so there's no need to give it away. Grandma Tang nodded and said, All right, Man Man. Grandma will go back first and lock your marriage certificate in the cabinet. Lu Man chuckled and said, Good grandmother. Lu Man stood in place, watching the black business and Volkswagen disappear in the traffic flow, costing about 200,000 yuan. Overall, Tang Yu's conditions are better than hers. After all, she can buy a house in Bin Imperial City with full payment. However, she is also working hard to minimize the difference between the two. Grandma Tang, who got on the car, saw Lu Man standing in place in the rearview mirror, 
watching them leave, laughing uncontrollably. This granddaughter-in-law really likes her more and more. After not seeing Lu Man's figure, Grandma Tang looked proudly at her cold grandson and said, Stinky kid, didn't Grandma lie to you? Man Man is a good girl. You should cherish her well in the future and give birth to a great grandson for your grandmother to play with don't use your bad temper on Man Man. Otherwise, I want you to look good. Upon hearing his grandmother's words, Tang Yu's handsome face became even colder than ice. Grandma, we agreed that with the certificate, you are not allowed to interfere in our affairs anymore. Give me three months to examine her character and wait until her character is qualified before we can cultivate our relationship. Grandma Tang snorted, I believe in Man Man's character. You can just investigate. After three months, you must make Man Man pregnant, otherwise I will work as a cleaner for you in your company. Every day I wander under your nose and scold you for being unfilial. Tang Yu couldn't stand his grandmother's mischievous temper and said, Grandma, I need time. Originally, three months ago, Lu Man saved his grandmother, and their whole family was very grateful to her. His parents, second uncle, second aunt, and third uncle and third aunt personally carried gifts to thank Lu Man. In addition, he also gave Lu Man 100,000 yuan as a reward. For ordinary families, 100,000 yuan is really not a small amount, because their grandmother always likes to play identity games in the market, so they also thank them as ordinary families. Unexpectedly, Lu Man only received a gift and didn't accept 100,000 yuan. At that time, her family had a good impression of her and always mentioned Lu Man in front of their brothers. Can you mention it, his grandmother actually asked him to marry Lu Man. He only then understood what Lu Man was worried about. Turns out she's fishing for big fish with a long line. He was extremely resistant in his heart, and his impression of Lu Man also plummeted, thinking that she was a woman who wanted his money. But his grandmother scolded him every day for being unfilial, and even printed a lot of marriage advertisements about him, intending to spread them. He couldn't do it, so he followed the old lady's advice and asked Lu Man for evidence. But receiving the certificate does not mean he completely compromises. He also has conditions. If Lu Man's character is not up to par, or if the two of them have incompatible personalities, they can break up at any time. And Lu Man, who watched as Grandma Tang and Tang Yu left, walked to his little electric donkey and planned to return to the clinic. Just as I took out the key, my phone rang. Looking down, it was Director Wang, the leader of my brother. In. Law. After thinking for a moment, she connected the phone and said, Director Wang. Xiao Man, listen to me. Your clinic's income is unstable, so why do you need to be guaranteed in a big hospital? The assistant position next to me has been reserved for you. If you want to open it, I will instruct someone to handle the onboarding procedures for you tomorrow. In this way, your hospital also has jobs and your clinic also has income. Isn't this the best of both worlds? Do you think so? Director Wang's voice was seductive and lewd. Lu Man chuckled lightly and said, Director Xia is very kind, but I'm married and planning to have a child with my husband. I don't have the energy to do two jobs, so I'm really sorry. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Living Together You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 3 Living Together, What? Are you married? Director Wang's voice became increasingly sharp. Lu Man nodded and said, Yes, Director Wang has already obtained the certificate. The wedding will be held in a while. Lu Man. You're playing with me. You're not good at it. There will always be a day when you regret it. Director Wang cursed and hung up the phone. Lu Man shrugged his shoulders nonchalantly and hummed softly, Old pervert, wolf. Putting her phone in her bag, she rode her little electric donkey back to the clinic, and her friend Si Nguyen was injecting and infusing the patient. Recently, there have been quite a few people catching flu. If it weren't for going to get the certificate, she wouldn't have left her friend alone at the clinic busy. She immediately went to wash her hands, 
disinfect and change her clothes, and started busy until after 12.30, she finally finished her work. Ah, my waist can finally rest, Si Nguyen, exhausted and unable to straighten his waist, leaned directly against the chair where he was sitting for diagnosis. Lu Man went to wash his hands and asked Si Nguyen, Yen Yen, I bought noodles when I came back. Can I have Yang Chun noodles for lunch? Lu Man has excellent cooking skills, and Si Nua Yen has enjoyed a delicious meal with him. Okay, it's so long. I really love you so much I'll go get you some help. Si Nguyen was about to get up and help, but Lu Man stopped him and said, You've been working alone for so long today, exhausted. By the way, looking ahead, the noodles are easy to make and will be ready soon. Si Nguyen's beautiful eyes narrowed into a smile and he said, I love you so much, mommy, Lu Man arrived at the small kitchen behind him, first boiling water, and then skillfully washing vegetables to prepare various ingredients. In twenty minutes, two bowls of fragrant Yang Chun noodles were out of the pot. Si Nguyen pulled out the small dining table and chair to help with the end face. When the two of them sat down to eat, Lu Man opened his phone and waved it in front of Si Nguyen. Shi Nguyen, who was taking a big bite of noodles, squinted his eyes and almost died at the age of 25 when he saw the photo on the screen. Cough cough. Si Nguyen coughed uncontrollably, tears streaming down his eyes. Lu Man quickly stood up and helped her pat her back, saying, Are you still a child? Can you choke even when eating? After a while, Si Nguyen breathed a sigh of relief and raised his hand to wipe away the choked tears, exclaiming, I'm going. The road is long. Do you want me to die young? You actually went to get married today Lu Man's life is very monotonous. When he was in school, there were two points and one line. Even after opening the clinic, there were still two points and one line, which impressed Si Nguyen, who was a good friend. She always said she was a Buddhist girl. This morning, Lu Man called her and said she had something to do. She came to the clinic later and thought it was related to Lu Man's sister. Unexpectedly, Lu Man went to collect the certificate himself. Lu Man nodded and said, Well, he is Grandma Tang's grandson. I agree to Grandma Tang's request. Ah! Si Nguyen exclaimed and immediately picked up his phone to look at the photo on his marriage certificate. Upon seeing it, he couldn't help but exclaim, Man man, he looks quite handsome. Si Nguyen knew about Lu Man's rescue of Grandma Tang, because Grandma Tang always came to deliver delicious food to Lu Man and she also followed suit. Well, it's much better than I imagined, Lu Man replied, thinking to himself that Tang Yuan was also very cold and difficult to approach. It's just a long time. Would it be too hasty for you to meet him once today and get married? After all, marriage is a big deal and cannot be played with. Lu Man smiled nonchalantly and said, Anyway, we just need to live together, so my sister can rest assured. Lu Yun, the older sister of Lu Man, is also familiar with Si Nguyen. She always hears Lu Man talk about family matters and knows that Lu Man's brother. In. Law despises Lu Man for always living with them. Recently, she had a big argument over Lu Man. Man Mang, if you want to move out of Miss Lu Yun's house, you can move to my place. How could you obtain a certificate from a stranger like this? Although he is handsome and has a job, is it possible that he has a problem with his character at such an old age and hasn't gotten married yet nowadays? There are many men who like violent girls, especially those who are handsome and change their demeanor. Si Nguyen is afraid that Lu Man will encounter such a person. Lu Man thought for a moment and said, If I were to move to your place, my sister wouldn't agree. Yen Yen, you need to help me keep this secret and not let her know that I casually found a man to marry because I'm afraid she might argue with her brother. In that law. And, you know, Director Wang always keeps pestering me, and now he has solved two big problems, which is quite good Si Nguyen said helplessly, okay, where did your husband buy a house? The Riverside Imperial City, according to Grandma Tang, was prepared for marriage. That's a high dot end residential area, and it's not too far from our store. Well, he gave me the key today. 
Yen Yen, when I'm not too busy this afternoon, I'll go back and tell my sister about this, and then I'll move it out of my sister's place. No problem, can I help you? No need, I don't have anything either. Okay then. Si Nguyen felt a little down in her heart. She had known that Lu Man wanted to get married, so she introduced her cousins to her. She had been friends with Lu Man for so many years and knew his character well. Apart from her family background, she was really one of the few good girls. At three or four in the afternoon, not too busy, Lu Man rode his little electric donkey back to his sister's house. The community where my sister is located is not bad either, because her brother dot in dot La Chen Lin started cheap early on and now the price has gone crazy. Many people around her envy her. That's why after getting married, Chen Lin became even more proud and didn't take her seriously. She went upstairs and took out the key to open the door. The room was quiet, and I didn't hear my nephew's voice. It must have been sleeping, but there was a clanging sound coming from the kitchen. She walked towards the kitchen and indeed saw her sister washing dishes and pots. Lu Yun turned around to look at the sound and was surprised to see that it was Lu Man, Man Man, why did you come back at this time? Isn't the clinic quite busy? My younger sister doesn't want to work in a big hospital. Although Lu Yun feels regretful, he also respects her choice, after all, their father is a famous clinic doctor in the countryside. Moreover, my younger sister's talent in medicine has followed my father's, and coupled with her own reputation, she has established a solid foundation by opening a clinic with friends. From last year to now, in half a year, many people who have traveled all the way to the clinic to see a doctor say that their sister's treatment is good and the medicine is effective. Sister, go sit down and rest first, I'll brush it. As Lu Man spoke, he pulled his sister aside and lifted his sleeve. Although my older sister doesn't work and stays at home to take care of the children, her brother dot in dot La Chen Lin can't appreciate how hard it is to see the children. Watching a child do household chores is really harder than going to work. Even so, she was told by her brother dot in dot La and in laws not to go to work. She knew to enjoy herself at home all day and reached out to her brother dot in dot La for money. Enjoying happiness. It sounds ridiculous. End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Men's Promises Can't Be Believed. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4. Men's Promises Can't Be Believed. Although Lu Man gives his sister 2,000 yuan a month living here, he also helps with household chores and takes care of the children. And the money she earned from working part dot time and summer jobs during school was handed over to her sister. And after opening the clinic, she almost gave her sister 5,000 yuan every month, of course, she didn't let her sister tell her brother dot in dot la Chen Lin. Because Chen Lin's treatment of his sister was getting worse and worse, Lu Man kept her in mind. Lu Yun's face was haggard, and her hair was a bit messy. She was wearing loose pajamas because she was now very fat and had a weight of nearly 200 pounds. After having a child, she didn't have time to dress up and usually managed to wear a set of pajamas at home. Before getting married, her figure was also very impressive. After giving birth to a child, she couldn't lose weight and instead became increasingly overweight. She herself was also very distressed. Man man, you haven't told sister yet. Why did you come back at this time? After the child went to bed, Lu Yun casually ate some leftover food and started cleaning the house and kitchen without stopping for a moment, exhausted and gasping for breath. However, in recent years, her younger sister has helped her a lot. If it weren't for her presence in this family, she would be even more tired. Lu Man pondered and said, Sister, go take a break first and I'll tell you later. Lu Yun nodded and said, Okay, I'll go wash Hao Hao's clothes. Upon hearing what Lu Yun said, Lu Man couldn't help but sigh in his heart. If she moves out, her sister will be even more tired, and if a woman gets married and has children, it's really a different kind of life. This is also the reason why she is unwilling to get married even at the age of 25. 
After Lu Man quickly cleaned the kitchen, Lu Yun also washed Hao Hao's two clothes by hand. Man Man, what's wrong? What exactly happened? Lu Yun propped up his clothes on a hanger and walked towards Lu Man, feeling a little uneasy in his heart, always feeling that it wouldn't be a small matter for Lu Man to tell her. Lu Man pulled Lu Yun onto the sofa and said with a smile, Sister, I'm married. Lu Yun was shocked and said, You, are you married? She looked incredulous, even thinking she had heard the wrong thing. Lu Man nodded and handed his phone to Lu Yun, saying, Hmm, this is my marriage certificate. Lu Yun held his phone and repeatedly confirmed, but still couldn't believe it. Man Man, is this a fake picture of you looking for someone P? Lu Yun knows that his sister has never had a boyfriend. Lu Man chuckled and said, the marriage certificate was taken away by Grandma Tang Yu, afraid that we might lose it. This is true and has legal effect. Seeing this, Lu Yun felt extremely uncomfortable in his heart and said, Man Man, was it because of your brother in law that you casually found a man to marry? Don't worry about what your brother in law says. You are my biological sister. When we got married, we agreed that I don't want them to give a dowry, as long as you live with me. Lu Man held Lu Yun's hand and comforted her not to get excited. Sister, it's not because of my brother. In. Law. Tang Yu and I have known each other for some time. You know, the Tang grandmother I met three months ago is Tang's grandson. Lu Yun frowned and said, You. I fell in love with him at first sight and spent more than two months together. We thought we were very suitable for each other. He was 30, and I was 20.5. It was also the age of marriage, so we decided to get together today. Let's get our certificates for Human Rights Day first. You've only known each other for just over two months and have already obtained the certificate. It's been a long time, don't you think it was rushed? Do you really understand him? Lu Yun felt uneasy in his heart. Sister, I really like him and he also likes me very much. We have carefully considered it, so we decided to get married with a certificate. Upon hearing what Lu Man said, even if Lu Yun couldn't accept it, he had to accept it. How is he doing? Lu Yun held his phone and looked at the man with a cold and stern face on his marriage certificate. He didn't seem like an easy duck going person no matter what. He is quite kind, very meticulous and knows how to be considerate. He still works in a large company with stable income. He has a fully paid house in Bin Imperial City and a Volkswagen car worth over 200,000 yuan. Lu Man told Tang Yu's information to his sister in detail, of course, there were both truth and falsehood. It sounds like Tang Yu's conditions are indeed good, and he is also handsome. Man Man, since you have already obtained the certificate, when will you let sister see him? Not seeing the real person, Lu Yun still feels uneasy. Lu Man paused for a moment and nodded, okay, he's usually very busy at work. In the evening, I'll ask him when he's available and let my sister see him. Lu Yun nodded and said, okay, Man Man. It's just that sister is useless. Lu Yun's eyes couldn't help but turn red as he spoke. Although Lu Man didn't say anything, she knew that her sister's quick marriage was still related to her last argument with Chen Lin. He met Chen Lin for seven years and got married for three years. Before getting married, Chen Lin treated her as a precious treasure and obedient. Later, when she became pregnant and had a child, the Chen family coaxed her to quit her job and stay at home full dot time to take care of her children. From then on, her in-laws changed their faces. Chen Lin's treatment of her is getting worse day by day. She knows it is also related to her physical appearance, but with the child, she is also very helpless. But her only sister stayed at home with her, which was agreed upon before getting married, but now the Chen family has become disgusted. Sure enough, the man's promise cannot be trusted. I don't know what my sister's looking for, so what? Sister, don't say that. Although you haven't gone out to work, your contribution at home is greater than your brother.in.laws. 
I got married completely because I fell in love with Tang Yu and wanted to establish a small family with him to live a good life. Don't think too much, it's not related to my brother. In. Law. Upon hearing my younger sister say this, Lu Yun couldn't say anything more. He only hoped that Tang Yu, whom Lu Man was looking for, would be a truly good man. Okay, man man. When Tang Yu has time, you must bring him back to show me. Don't worry, sister. I'll see if he has time this weekend. If not, next week won't be too long. Okay. Lu Yun helps Lu Man pack his luggage with red eyes. The two sisters have lived together since they were young. Now they suddenly separate. Lu Yun really can't accept it. Why does Lu Man feel so good in his heart? She grew up under the care of her sister since childhood, and now she cannot bear to part ways with her sister. Sister, stop crying. You should be happy for me. The Riverside Imperial City is not far from here, and it's only half an hour by bike. I'm either not coming back or just moving to a different place to live. Lu Man spoke and raised his hand to help Lu Yun wipe away his tears. Lu Yunhong nodded with her eyes fixed and said, Hmm. The two sisters were chatting, and Lu Man's mobile phone rang again, because the mobile phone was right beside the bed, still beside Lu Yun. Lu Yun picked up his phone and said, Your brother. In. Law probably wants to persuade you to go to the hospital to work again. After speaking, he connected the phone, but Lu Man couldn't stop him in time. I believe her brother. In. Law learned about her marriage from the leader, and now he's here to question her. As expected, as soon as the phone was connected, Chen Lin's furious voice came from over there. Lu Man. Are you really married or fake married? Aren't you without a boyfriend? Do you know that you've caused me so much trouble? End of this chapter. Chapter 5 He doesn't like it. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 He doesn't like it. Lu Yun frowned and said, Why did the long marriage end up causing you so much trouble? How could you be so angry? Chen Lin didn't expect Lu Yun to answer the phone and asked coldly, is she really married? Yes, the certificate I just received today. Good. She's really good. It took me eight generations to meet your sisters. Chen Lin let go of his anger and hung up the phone directly. Lu Yun looked at Lu Man with a bewildered expression on his face and said, Man Man, what does your brother dot in dot law mean by saying this? Are you hiding something from me? No, who did he hear that your married Lu Yun thought it was Lu Man telling Chen Lin, but Chen Lin's tone was not like that. Lu Man hurriedly said, Sister, today the hospital recruitment agency called me to ask if I would go to the hospital to apply for a job, just to save face for my brother. In. Law. I said I'm married and planning to have a child, which is why my brother. In. Law is not up to me and won't fight for his face. Without much thought, Lu Yun immediately exclaimed, then he can't be so angry with you. What you do is your own right. All right sister, my brother. In. Law is also doing it for my good. Don't get angry with him, Lu Man comforted. After thinking about it for a while, I finally spoke out the words in my heart. Sister, I won't be at home anymore. Don't keep arguing with your brother. In. Law. He came back from work, and even though he doesn't know how to cook, ask him to help take care of Hao Hao and share some of it with you seeing his sister so tired, Lu Man felt very sorry. I still remember when my sister and brother in. Law first met, my brother in. Law was really good to my sister and treated her like a biological sister. But since my sister got married to him, everything has changed. Is it true in the eyes of men that once they receive something, they don't need to cherish it anymore? Lu Yun nodded and said, Okay, it's long. Sister knows, you don't have to worry, sister. There aren't many things on the road, just a suitcase containing some clothes and daily necessities, and nothing else. Bring your luggage to the clinic first, and after finishing your work in the evening, go directly to the Riverside Imperial City. After 5 p.m., the clinic will be very busy, 
and children and elderly people have weak resistance, with many catching colds. Busy until 9 o'clock, with finishing work remaining, Si Nguyen urged Lu Man to hurry back. After all, today is the first day of obtaining the certificate, and Lu Man is still carrying his luggage to move to the Riverside Imperial City. Please go back and settle down as soon as possible. Okay, Yen Yen, thank you for your hard work. It's not hard, and Wang only has one bottle of water left. It won't be long. Well, then I'll leave first. Goodbye, Lu Man dragged his suitcase and rode his little electric donkey towards the Bin Imperial City, and in about 15 minutes, he arrived at the front gate of the Bin Imperial City. Undoubtedly, it is a high.end community with access control for entry and exit, and the security guards are also very responsible. However, after Lu Man entered the entrance of the community, he suddenly remembered that he forgot to ask Tang Yu which building his house was in today. She looked at the time and it was almost 9.30. Tang Yu should also be finishing work soon, right? Even if I haven't finished work, I shouldn't be too busy. After thinking this way, she took out her phone and sent a WeChat message to Tang Yu. Mr. Tang, have you finished work yet? I forgot to ask which building and which household your house is today. Tang Yu happened to be accompanying clients outside tonight. Normally, clients don't need him to accompany them personally, but tonight's client is the second young master of the Nangong family in the capital. The position of the Nangong family in the capital is only second to that of the wealthiest Chu family. If the two families want to cooperate in the future, Tang Yu's personal reception will be more sincere. At the table, when he heard his phone ring, he didn't pay attention and didn't even pick it up. He had no recollection that he was already married. About ten minutes later, the phone rang again. He furrowed his brow and picked up the phone on the desk. When the three words, long road, came to his eyes, he suddenly remembered that he had already obtained a marriage certificate early this morning. He just doesn't like, and even has some disgust, the girl named Lu Man who has ulterior motives. Seeing a voice call from Lu Man, he ignored it and pressed the mute button. He then placed his phone on the desk and continued talking to Nangong Urshao. Lu Man saw that Tang Yu was not answering, thinking he was busy. After thinking for a moment, he called Grandma Tang. Grandma, have you rested yet? No, it's a long time. Are you at home with Ayu now? Grandma Tang laughed mischievously. Lu Man awkwardly said, I don't have a grandmother. The clinic has been busy lately. I just finished work and arrived at the Bin Imperial City. I remembered forgetting to ask Tang Yu which building and which household his house is. I called him on the phone, but he didn't answer. I thought he might still be busy, so I wanted to ask you. Upon hearing this, Grandma Tang's face was completely devoid of a smile and she cursed, this bastard. Man man, don't worry yet. Grandma will call him now. Well, it's okay, Grandma. Don't blame him, he should be busy. After hanging up the phone, Grandma Tang angrily called Tang Yu immediately. Because Tang Yu pressed the mute button just now, his phone shook again, and he thought it was Lu Man calling again, but still didn't answer. I didn't expect his phone to keep shaking when he didn't answer. Even the second young master of Nangong stopped talking and looked at the phone in front of him. Tang Yu had a gloomy face, apologized, picked up his phone, and left the table. However, when he saw on the screen that it was Grandma calling, his anger suddenly dissipated. But on second thought, when Grandma called him at this time, it must have been Lu Man reporting to Grandma. This woman. I really underestimated her, I didn't expect she was still a whistleblower. He walked to a quiet corner and connected the phone. Before he could speak, Grandma Tang cursed and said, Stinky kid. You just got married to Man Man today, and you treated him like this. It's okay if I don't go back so late. Why didn't I answer the phone when I called you for a long time Tang Yu knew it was Lu Man who called his grandmother to complain. I feel even more disdainful and contemptuous towards Lu Man in my heart. Grandma, 
I'm accompanying the client outside and I gave her all the keys. She just needs to go back on her own. As for calling you and telling me, isn't it? She doesn't know how busy I am, can you still not know Grandma Tang snorted softly, then you also need to tell Man Man which building and which household the house you bought is in. It's so late, let her wait in the yard with a girl carrying a luggage, cold and dry. Tang Yu was stunned. It seems like I forgot to tell Lu Man which building and which household I gave her the keys today. However, the house was just recently purchased and meticulously decorated. He took the key and didn't know which building or household it was. She didn't ask me today either. The house was clearly bought, but even if she didn't tell me, I didn't know. Tang Yusheng denied that he was wrong and shifted the blame onto his driver, Ming Ming. You. You stinky kid. All right, Grandma, I know now. I'll call Ming Ming and tell her later. Be quick, accompany the client and quickly go back to the new house to apologize to Man Man. Tang Yu helplessly said, Grandma, can you stop meddling in my affairs with her? This was agreed upon before we obtained the certificate. New article release, support from our friends, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 He was pitched by his grandmother. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6 He was pitched by his grandmother Grandma Tang also knows that she can't push her eldest grandson too hard, otherwise this stinky kid will give her a hard time. Humph. Then you must also keep your promise and not let Man Man suffer any injustice. Also, today is Valentine's Day, which is also the day for you to obtain your certificate. When you go back, remember to bring a bouquet of flowers for Man Man and buy two more gifts as a gesture of goodwill Tang Yu nodded perfunctorily and said, I understand. After hanging up the phone, Tang Yu immediately called Ming Ming who was waiting in the car and said, Send me the specific location of the house you bought in Bin Imperial City. Ming Ming quickly edited a message and sent it to his boss. Room 901, Unit 1, Building 12, Bin Imperial City. After reading it, Tang Yu directly copied and pasted it to Lu Man, and only then did he see the message sent to him by Lu Man's voice call. But he didn't say anything unnecessary, anyway, Lu Man's current positioning in his mind is vain and whistleblower. After receiving Tang Yufa's message, Lu Man didn't say much. He found the building and took the elevator to 901 on the ninth floor. The house has one elevator and one household, and the space is very spacious. She took out the key and opened the door, turned on the phone light, found the switch, and turned on the light. In an instant, the room was bright. The decoration style is minimalist and modern, with complete large furniture and appliances, three bedrooms and two living rooms, and a large balcony, covering an area of approximately 150 square meters. The master bedroom and the second bedroom are equipped with furniture and beds, and there is also a smaller room available. She thought that she and Tang Yu had just received their certificates today, and before that, no one knew anyone. Even if they got married, it was impossible to live in the same room immediately. So, she dragged her luggage to the second bedroom, took out her clothes and daily necessities, and arranged them properly. Because she hadn't eaten yet at night, she thought of making some food to fill her stomach, but she walked to the kitchen to see it clean and tidy. Opening the refrigerator again, there was no electricity plugged in, let alone food inside. It's already so late, it's impossible for her to go out shopping. She pays more attention to safety when she's alone at night. On second thought, she first ordered a copy of Luasafen online, and then started online shopping for household goods. She just looked at it and found that there were no pots, dishes, ladles, or utensils in the kitchen, and there were no cleaning and toiletries in the bathroom. Anyway, Tang Yu probably didn't live here before today. It is indeed a new house. Tang Yu finished his dinner at around 10 o'clock and then drove his newly purchased Volkswagen out of Bin Imperial City. Tang Yu has served in the army and doesn't need to bring bodyguards wherever he goes. If anything unexpected happens, he can fight better than bodyguards. But if he goes to a commercial banquet, 
he will choose to bring a few close bodyguards to stop those who admire him. On both sides of the road, there are many neon lights and signs of love. There are also vendors selling roses on the roadside. Tang Yu couldn't help but think of his grandmother asking him to buy flowers and gifts for Lu Man. He snorted disdainfully, realizing that she was not worthy of it yet. When he arrived at the Riverside Imperial City, he followed the address of his new house that was clearly sent and found his own small home with the luggage that the butler had helped him organize. Through the door, thinking that there was a woman living inside, still his legitimate wife, he felt as uncomfortable as a needle. Originally, life was good. His grandmother insisted on giving him a woman to be his wife, and she was still a vain whistleblower. She really messed with him. Take out the key and open the door. In an instant, an indescribable smell rushed towards his face, seeping into his nostrils and inhaling into his lungs. At that moment, he seemed to think he had taken a bite of Xiang, so disgusting that he almost vomited. The first thought in his mind was that the upstairs toilet had collapsed, leaking those things into his house. Mr. Tang, have you returned? Suddenly, a crisp and slightly familiar voice disrupted his thoughts. He furrowed his brows and took a step forward, holding his breath. As he looked inside, he saw Lumen lying on the dining table eating something, and the smell seemed to come from the disposable lunch box in front of him. He's going crazy. Suppressing the anger in his heart, he asked coldly, What did you eat? Only then did Lumen realize that her new husband didn't seem to like the taste, so he quickly got up and carried the luosifen in front of him into the kitchen. Sorry, you may not like to eat this. I'll open the window wider for better ventilation. The road man said, running to the balcony to open the window a little wider. Tang Yu remained calm and Zhang Jun snorted coldly, if you want to eat, you won't know how to make it yourself. Call those messy junk foods. Lumen felt that his bowl of luosifen was really disgusting to Tang Yu, and explained. I wanted to do it, but there was nothing in the kitchen, so he ordered a luosifen to deal with it. Tang Yu was restless and said, You're a girl. What would happen if you eat less at night? In Tang Yu's impression, the women around him usually don't eat staple foods at night, first for their physique, and second for health preservation. Like his mother, his second aunt, third aunt, and even his grandmother, they eat very little at night. What's like a road comic? It's already past ten o'clock, and you still need to order takeout to eat what kind of noodles? Is she a starving ghost? At this moment, Tang Yu once again labeled Lu Man as lazy and lazy. The road is awkward, and most girls like to eat less at night to lose weight. But she was already very tired from work and didn't even have time to eat snacks. Finally, she finished work and ate something wrong. I'm sorry, Mr. Tang. I shouldn't have eaten this thing at home, but I have to eat at night. Aren't you eating nothing at night? As long as he goes to work, she doesn't believe he doesn't eat at night. Tang Yu was somewhat speechless when scolded by Lu Man didn't he just come back from eating and drinking at the table. But he would never admit that he was wrong. He straightened his neck and snorted coldly, I lose weight and don't eat anything after nine in the evening. Tonight is a special situation. If it were normal, he wouldn't be so unrestrained. Lu Man stared at Tang Yuna's figure wrapped in a suit and saw that it was indeed the golden ratio. Joking, Mr. Tang's figure is really amazing. Tang Yu was stunned for a moment. She didn't expect Lu Man to openly praise his good figure. Is it difficult for her to do so? What other thoughts does she have? He would never touch her finger until they had no relationship. Also, if she fails to withstand his test, she will immediately break up. Tang Yu didn't want to talk to Lu Man anymore. He looked around and didn't see any slippers. Lu Man seemed to understand what he was looking for. There were no daily necessities in this house, including slippers. When she arrived, she brought a pair of casual shoes and just put them on. I haven't had time to buy slippers yet, and I don't have anything for daily necessities. I'll take some time tomorrow to go to the supermarket to buy them. After all, the house was bought by him, 
and she moved in with her bag. She had to take care of what needed to be added to the house, and today was too busy to arrange the time properly. Tang Yu had a big head and was too lazy to bother with the road. He dragged his luggage and walked straight indoors. Watching Lu Man empty the master bedroom and move on to the second bedroom, his anger dissipated a bit. He felt that Lu Man still had a bit of self-awareness and knew that he had no interest in her right now. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Mr. Tang, thank you tonight. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Mr. Tang Thank you tonight Lu Man saw Tang Yu enter the master bedroom with a cold expression on his face, standing in place and pursing his lips. He was indeed a difficult person to get along with. She'd better destroy half of her Luasifan as soon as possible to avoid some people getting angry. Tang Yu, who had returned to his room, began to tidy up his things. For him, who had a serious obsession with cleanliness, he didn't even have any toiletries and was so angry that he didn't even want to sleep. How does Uncle Zhong handle things? Surprisingly, I just sorted out a few suits and pajamas for him. At this moment, he realized how important those affordable toiletries were. Taking a deep breath, he decisively took out his phone and called the omnipotent Ming Ming, asking him to quickly deliver some toiletries, towels, and slippers. After thinking for a moment, he added, take another pair of women's shoes, pink, in sizes around 37 and 38, and go to a budget supermarket to buy them. Just now, Lu Man seemed to say that she didn't have any slippers either. Clearly that astonishment. Oh my goodness. How could their young master be so considerate and even bring slippers for the young lady? Are the two of them sleeping in the same bed? Before Tang Yu could catch up with various inappropriate scenes for children, he snapped back to his senses with a shout. Speed. Yes, boss. Hanging up the phone, Tang Yu lifted his watch and looked at it. It was already past 10.30. He'd better go downstairs and wait first to avoid suspicion from the passers-by. When they arrived at the living room, Lu Man happened to come out of the kitchen and looked at Tang Yu seemingly going out. He was a bit puzzled and said, Mr. Tang is going out. Tang Yu nodded and said, I'm going to buy some toiletries. Do you need them? Lu Man blinked and said, How about I go with you? She has a lot of things she wants to buy. It's not safe for her to go out alone so late, and she can't hold on to them either. If he goes too, that would be just right. Unable to believe it, Tang Yu didn't even want to refuse directly, just tell me what you need. Jokes, he's not really going to the supermarket. However, in Lu Man's eyes, his reaction was that he didn't want to go out shopping with her. I have toiletries with me. It's getting late, Mr. Tang should go and get back quickly. Then I'll go downstairs. Well, pay attention to safety. When Tang Yu went out and closed the door, Lu Man finally chuckled, high cold man. If you don't let her follow, she won't go. Wasn't it good to go back to the room and wash and sleep? Tang Yu went downstairs and walked to the main entrance to wait for Ming Ming to deliver something. I just realized that there are actually supermarkets on both sides of the road outside the entrance of the community. However, it has been explained that Ming Ming should arrive soon. While pondering, a phone call came clearly asking where he was located. Quickly, a black Ferrari stopped in front of him. There was no way, even though it was his driver, his garage was filled with real luxury cars. Boss. Mingming got off the car with a smiling face and handed over the toiletries and slippers in plastic bags to Tang Yu. They were all bought at the affordable supermarket. Tang Yu took it with a cold face and said, come back. Hey. Watching the boss with his own high cold, luxurious and stunning appearance carrying a plastic bag filled with toiletries and slippers, the scene is so comical. But what he didn't know was that what was even funnier was still ahead. Tang Yugang walked downstairs when the voice call came from Lu Man. He furrowed his brows with his phone, thinking that Lu Man was here to investigate the post. He snorted disdainfully, thinking that once she obtained the certificate, she could constantly monitor him. 
The first one didn't answer, and Lu Man called again. He answered with suppressed anger, What are you doing? Mr. Tang, are you outside? Tang Yusin said, Women are really troublesome. Gao Ling replied, Just go back. Unexpectedly, Lu Man said somewhat embarrassed, Wait a moment, Mr. Tang. Can you please help me buy something? What to buy? Just. That one. What is that? Cough, auntie's scarf. Tang Yu paused for a moment and said, What is an aunt's scarf? Lu Man said speechlessly, Just. I just realized that my aunt is here. Why did you buy an aunt's towel when your aunt came? Tang Yu looked puzzled and asked again, Where has your aunt gone? What exactly is an aunt's towel? Lu Man fell silent in an instant. It seems unbelievable that there are really men in this world who don't know what aunties and aunties are. Speak. Tang Yu didn't listen to Lu Man's voice, feeling a bit annoyed. Mr. Tang, I'm sorry, I used the wrong words. I suddenly started menstruating and I don't have a sanitary napkin at home, so could you please help me bring two bags back? Tang Yu. When Tang Yu Hei, with a calm and handsome face, had to walk to the life supermarket and stand in front of the shelf of sanitary supplies to choose a girl's aunt towel, he really had the urge to strangle Lu Man. He regrets it a bit. He didn't wear a mask when he went out just now. Hello sir, may I introduce you to you? Suddenly, the salesperson walked over and politely spoke. The people living in the Riverside Imperial City are either rich or noble, but they have never seen such a handsome and aloof man before, and they still come to buy ant scarves. The salesperson was filled with envy in his heart, wondering which girl was so lucky. Tang Yu was extremely embarrassed and coughed lightly. He casually took two packages from the shelf and said, that's enough. Okay, I'll help you settle the bill. At the cashier, the salesperson specially used black plastic bags for packaging, which relieved Tang Yu's heart. After settling the accounts, he strode home with his things in hand. Meanwhile, Lu Man was waiting for Tang Yu to return. She is also very helpless. She has been too busy lately and forgot about the date when her aunt came. She moved in again today and really didn't prepare anything, so she asked Tang Yu to help her buy two bags back. He must be furious. Just now, when she understood what she wanted him to buy on the phone, he fell silent. If she hadn't said a lot of good things, he probably wouldn't have agreed. I once again lament in my heart that Tang Yu is a difficult person to get along with. While pondering, I heard some movement outside. Soon, the door to the restroom was knocked on, and then came Tang Yu's emotionless voice. Hang the door. She was inexplicably nervous and said, Thank you, Mr. Tang. Tang Yu paused for a moment, seeming to grit his teeth and say, Let's not do it again. This is the first and last time, don't think he will buy this thing for her in the future. After thinking about it, before Lu Man could reply, he turned around and went back to his room. Lu Man was also embarrassed. When she came out of the bathroom, it was quiet outside, and the door to Tang Yu's room was also tightly closed. She raised her eyebrows and turned back to the room when suddenly she kicked something with her foot. She lowered her head and looked it turned out to be a pair of pink women's slippers. At that moment, Lu Man felt a warm current passing through his heart. Originally, Grandma was right. Tang Yu still had a careful side. Knowing that she didn't have slippers, he helped her buy them, which was the pink color she liked. Hurry up and wash up, then put on your slippers. Hmm, they fit perfectly. Lying in bed, she took out her phone and found Tang Yu's WeChat, editing a message. Mr. Tang, thank you tonight. Also, the size of the slippers is just right and I like the color. Good night. End of this chapter. Is she a fierce beast in floods? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Is she a fierce beast in floods? Tang Yu, who had already been washed up and lying in bed, received a message from Lu Man and snorted softly. Don't think that just being obedient to him can change his view of her, 
it's impossible. He needs to investigate slowly. At six o'clock in the morning, Lu Man was awakened by the alarm. She immediately sat up from the bed, lifted the blanket, and was about to get out of bed and put on shoes. When she half squinted her eyes and saw the new slippers at her feet, she suddenly remembered that she had moved out of her sister's house. In the past, at six o'clock in the morning, she would wake up on time to make breakfast, help with laundry and household chores, and leave for the clinic at eight o'clock. I'm a bit uncomfortable moving out now. I don't know when Tang Yu wakes up, what does he like to eat in the morning? Never mind, let's go downstairs first and see what we can eat. Bring him some food and bring him back. We can't let him go to work hungry, then her wife is too incompetent. After washing up, she walked out with the little electric donkey key. Although she made a lot of online purchases yesterday, she couldn't come back for a while. She regretted buying online and now she needs to buy what she urgently needs. After leaving the gate of the Riverside Imperial City, she realized that there were supermarkets and breakfast shops on both sides of the road, and even further away, there was a morning market street. She first wandered around the morning market and bought some firewood, rice, oil, salt, and vegetables. Because she couldn't hold on to them, she had to buy so much and brought two more breakfasts back. Pushing open the door and placing the heavy object on the dining table, she was exhausted and panting heavily. At this moment, the door of the master bedroom opened. Tang Yu, dressed in a black nightgown, walked out of the room, probably just getting up. His clothes were loose and revealing the charming texture lines on his chest. He had planned to come out and pour out a glass of water to drink, but when he looked up, he saw Lu Man sitting in the restaurant. At that moment, the whole person seemed to wake up from a dream, and the two of them looked at each other for three seconds. The next second, Tang Yu decisively turned around and went back to his room to change clothes. He thought he got up early enough, but to his surprise, Lu Man was even earlier than him. He didn't ignore the fierce gaze she gave him just now, as if he was about to eat him alive. Humph. Don't covet his beauty. He thought arrogantly and quickly changed clothes. Soon, dressed in a suit and leather shoes, he appeared again in front of Lu Man, tall, cold, and luxurious. However, it still doesn't prevent Lu Man from appreciating his figure and his face that is even more handsome than a celebrity. Grandma Tang's great-grandson is not bad-looking. Although Lu Man is not a fan or a flower lover, seeing a handsome man always brings a better mood. It's getting late, come over and have breakfast quickly. When Lu Man felt that Tang Yu was being targeted by her and was about to go berserk, he conveniently pushed the breakfast he had bought towards him. I don't know what you like to eat, so I just bought some outside our community. She bought kanji, wonton, deep dot fried dough sticks and xialong bao, which were light and nutritious, but she didn't know whether they were suitable for his taste. Tang Yu looked at breakfast and then at the pile of things next to Lu Man, and finally realized that she had gone shopping early in the morning. Suddenly, the little anger that was stared at by Lu Man dissipated. He took a step over and placed breakfast at the farthest location from the road man, then sat down. Lu Man is she a fierce beast. Tang Yu opened the breakfast bag and immediately pushed wonton to Lu Man, I'll just have kanji. Then he pushed deep dot fried dough sticks in the past. I don't like fried food. Lu Man raised his eyebrows and said, Okay, then I won't bring these for you next time. Tang Yu, who was about to bow down to drink kanji, paused for a moment, thought about it, and said nothing more. In fact, he doesn't really like the things that Lu Man brought, but now he's pretending to be poor, so it's normal to have this standard breakfast. However, which Xialong Bao is it? It's really delicious, and the kanji tastes bad. Looking up at Lumen, he drank wonton while looking at his mobile phone. With a little deep dot fried dough sticks, he ate happily and didn't care about his image at all. In his impression, the ladies he had seen all had elegant eating habits, and they were also rare. Lumen finally catches Tang Yu's sight and looks at him suspiciously. Why? Kanji and Xialong Bao are not good either. 
Tang Yu coughed and said, It's okay. So, did you go out this morning to buy some household items? Lu Man nodded and said, Well, I also bought a lot online last night, but it will take two or three days to come back. Today, I bought these for emergency use. Is the card I gave you useless? He bound the home card to Lu Man's phone number, and it seems that he has not received any consumption information. Lu Man smiled and said, I forgot, it's okay. We're husband and wife now, and it's the same who we use. The room was bought by Tang Yu and comes with exquisite decoration. She felt embarrassed to move in with her bag and bought something suitable for household use. Tang Yu couldn't quite determine whether Lu Man's words were genuine or insincere, and pondered, since that's the case, in the future, if we need to purchase anything at home, we can use our family card. There's no need to save for me. I can afford to support this family. Lu Man felt that there was no need to argue with him about this matter and nodded, okay, I understand. I'm in a hurry, you eat slowly, Tang Yu said and stood up from the dining table. You haven't finished breakfast yet. Lu Man doesn't like to waste food, which makes her feel guilty, after all, every grain is hard. Tang Yu calmly packed breakfast and said, I'll take the company to eat. Lu Man finally showed a satisfied smile. Tang Yu walked out with breakfast in hand. As the door closed, he couldn't help but catch his breath. It turns out that pretending to be poor is also a very difficult thing. When he arrived downstairs and passed by the garbage dump, he threw away his breakfast without even thinking about it. Don't blame him for wasting it, he really can't get used to it. And Lu Man quickly had breakfast, sorted out the things he had bought, and hurried out. It's not yet time for the clinic to open. She needs to go back to her sister's place to take a look, and also bring some food and buy some fruits. My sister is taking care of the child alone, and she is not here. I don't know if she has breakfast or not at this moment. Wait until she buys something and arrives at Lu Yun's house, after 8 o'clock. As soon as she entered the door, she heard Chen Lin's voice. You just stay at home and take care of a child. I've been working day and night and come back without even having breakfast. When you have free time, you know how to eat and eat. I don't know how much fat has grown on my body. Don't expect me to give you an extra penny in the future. Also, take good care of your mouth. Lu Yun was also infuriated by Chen Lin's words. It's been a long time, Hao Hao woke up early again. He clung to me crying, which delayed the time to make breakfast. You didn't eat breakfast, and I didn't eat either. Sleeping all night and still eating. Lu Yun, I beg you to look in the mirror more every day. Skipping breakfast all morning won't cause any problems, but it can help you lose weight upon hearing Chen Lin's words, Lu Yun felt extremely aggrieved and his eyes turned red. Yesterday, it was a human day, and she didn't expect Chen Lin to express anything to her, but he didn't even make a phone call or message, only saying that he would work overtime at night. He came back early this morning and scolded her. She called him and asked him to bring breakfast out, but he didn't answer the phone and blamed her. End of this chapter How much dowry do they plan to give in chapter 9? You are listening at novelfull.audio how much dowry do they plan to give in chapter 9? Brother-in-law My sister takes care of Hao Hao alone every day, which is also very difficult. She has to cook, wash dishes, do laundry, mop the floor, tidy up the room, go out to buy groceries, and do various household chores. She doesn't even have time to tidy up herself every day. Can't you understand her more? Lu Man got angry and walked in step. My brother dot in dot law Chen Lin is really going too far, he can even say things like not eating breakfast to lose weight. Seeing the road ahead, Chen Lin became even angrier. Lu Man, I haven't found you yet, you're upside down. Chen Lin blushed and his neck was thick. Because Lu Man's sudden marriage ruined Director Wang's good deed. Yesterday, Director Wang scolded him thoroughly and even transferred his class to the night shift. Previously, he never worked night shifts, except for emergencies. 
Just because Lu Man offended Director Wang, he had to work one day and one night in a row yesterday, and for the next month's schedule, he will be working night shifts. He is really angry. Lu Yun ignored Chen Lin's ferocity and now even his younger sister is also ferocious, refusing to comply. Chen Lin, why are you so ferocious? Whether she goes to the hospital or not is her freedom. It's not bad for her to open clinics with friends outside. Chen Lin's anger was strong at the moment, and without even thinking, he cursed, I'm talking about her getting married. How could she not tell me about such a big marriage? Did she even ask me to go to Director Wang and say good things for her to go to the hospital to work? Now she says she's getting married and having children and won't go to the hospital to work. Isn't she playing with me and Director Wang Lu Yun didn't know what kind of minor incident Chen Lin and Director Wang were having. He looked at Chen Lin strangely and said, I didn't go to the hospital to work for a long time. I told you and Director Wang last year. Now that she's married, how can it be considered playing tricks on you and Director Wang? Chen Linton stayed and didn't know how to answer for a moment. He can't say that Director Wang has been pestering Lu Man all along because the road is long and beautiful. He wants Lu Man to go to the hospital to work so that he can do three things for him. And can he also get a promotion and a salary increase because of pleasing Director Wang? But now? Are you still promoted? If he doesn't demote him, he'll be grateful. It's all thanks to Lu Man. Lu Man didn't want his sister to argue with her brother. In law again, so he quickly said, Sister, brother. In law is also kind. Hearted. Don't blame him. I brought breakfast and fruit, but you haven't eaten yet. I'll hold on to how how, and you guys should have breakfast first. Lu Man put the things he was holding onto the dining table and walked over to Lu Yun to pick up how how in his arms. Auntie Kiss, Hao Hao didn't see Lu Man from yesterday until this morning, and now he is holding Lu Man's neck and insisting on a kiss. Lu Man smiled and gave a smack at Hao Hao's cute little face. Hao Hao will celebrate his second birthday next month, and after the summer vacation this year, he can go to preschool education. Chen Lin saw that Lu Man was still so close to his son, and his anger dissipated a little. He snorted lightly and said, it's really a big girl who doesn't want to stay. I'll take care of such a big wedding without saying anything. As Lu Man was about to say something, Chen Lin continued, How much dowry are they planning to give? When will the wedding be held? Your sister and I have worked hard to raise you, and it's not easy. If the dowry can't be negotiated, don't think you'll have children for them. Do you know what you're talking about? What dowry? This is Man Man's own business, what does it have to do with you and me? Lu Yun was angry and didn't expect Chen Lin to even raise the money for Lu Man's dowry. Of course I know what I'm talking about. I raised her so much, provided her with education, and even opened a clinic. You even gave her 50,000 yuan. Now that I'm married, I can't even get some dowry money. Chen Lin Li said angrily. Besides, if Man Man's own conditions are good, he can still get a dowry of four to five hundred thousand yuan, right? Chen Lin thought. Lu Man didn't help him get a promotion or a raise, so he could give him more dowry money. Unexpectedly, before Lu Yun could even speak, Lu Man smiled and said, Tang Yu and I are in a happy relationship. We didn't ask for a dowry, but Tang Yu has a house and a car, all of which are fully paid. He also covers all the expenses at home. Now, I am very satisfied with this. What? I didn't ask for a dowry. Chen Lin suddenly became anxious. Tang Yu gave Lu Man 100,000 yuan to buy a household, and Lu Yun knew about it. In fact, this 100,000 yuan was just for Lu Man. In order to prevent Chen Lin from thinking about this 100,000 yuan, Lu Yun chose not to mention it. She is becoming increasingly disappointed with Chen Lin now, and sometimes she even thinks about how long her marriage with Chen Lin can last. When I married you, didn't I ask for a dowry, she stated. Chen Lin glared angrily and said, that's because you're taking her, 
I have to support her. Pat your conscience, what have you been supporting Man Man? Man Man lives here to help with household chores, takes care of How How, and earns her own tuition for school. The extra money is used to support her family, Chen Lin. What did you say when I married you back then? You said you would treat Man Man like a biological sister, but now Lu Yun became increasingly angry and aggrieved as he spoke, his eyes turning red. Sister. Stop talking. Lu Man walked up to Lu Yun and stopped her from continuing. To be honest, now seeing her sister and brother dot in dot law arguing like this because of her, Lu Man feels that she chose to flash Mary Tang Yu, which is the right choice. Lu Yun. Did you forget that she opened a clinic and you even gave her 50,000 yuan? Chen Lin became more and more angry as he spoke. I already told you last time that 50,000 yuan was left by our parents, and it was already a long journey. What does originally mean? If you marry her to me, that's our common money. You secretly gave it to her without my consent, and you still have reason. Sister, brother. In. Law. Stop arguing, I brought the 50,000 yuan today. Lu Man said. She came today just to give that 50,000 yuan to her sister in front of her brother. In. Law, so that they wouldn't argue about it again in the future. Long time. What are you talking about? That's already yours. Lu Yun raised his hand and wiped away the tears from the corners of his eyes, his voice choked and firm. Sister, I am grateful that you and my brother. In. Law have taken care of me for so many years. I had to use that 50,000 yuan due to financial constraints when opening a clinic. Today, I brought the money with me. As Lu Man spoke, he held Hao Hao in one hand and took out a card from his bag with the other, placing it on the dining table. I don't want it, you put it on, Lu Yun said, picking up the card and stuffing it into Lu Man's bag. Chen Lin was quick-witted and grabbed it with one hand, but with a smile on his face, he said, if Man Man is still sensible, then we won't be polite. Chen Lin. Lu Yun was angry and anxious. Sister, this matter has been flipped over. We won't mention it to anyone in the future. Please sit down and have breakfast as soon as possible. I also have to rush to the clinic. Lu Man comforted Lu Yun softly. Tears from the corner of Lu Yun's eyes kept swirling in his eyes, as he looked at Lu Man, feeling overwhelmed with countless words in his heart. Lu Man knew about his sister's suffering and felt heartbroken. Sister, if you don't sit down, breakfast will be cold. Hao Hao frowned as he saw his mother about to cry and said, Ma Ma doesn't cry Hao Hao is obedient, end of this chapter. Is there someone outside in chapter 10? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Is there someone outside in Chapter 10? Lu Yun didn't want Hao Hao to see him like this, so he immediately raised his hand and wiped the corners of his eyes. He forced out a smile and looked at Hao Hao, saying, Hao Hao is very well behaved, Mom likes Hao Hao very much, Mom just has sand in her eyes, yes, we Hao Hao are so well behaved, can Auntie take Hao Hao to play with toys, said Lu Man holding Hao Hao and walking towards the living room. Lu Yun took a sniff and frowned, glaring at Chen Lin who was eating breakfast with his head down. Without saying anything more, he sat down and started eating breakfast. This 50,000 yuan already belongs to Man Man, and when there is a suitable opportunity, she will also give this 50,000 yuan to Man Man. Chen Lin Kai doesn't care what Lu Yun thinks in his heart. Getting back this 50,000 yuan today is a considerable gain. When Lu Man holds his wedding, if the other party doesn't bring the dowry money, he won't be able to do it. He quickly had breakfast, wiped his mouth, and went straight to his room to sleep. He also left a message for Lu Yun. I worked all day and night yesterday, so please don't disturb my sleep with Hao Hao later. Returning to the room and closing the door, he picked up his phone with a clanging sound, and the corners of his mouth burst into laughter. The message reads. Dr. Chen, thank you for giving me the diamond necklace yesterday. It's really beautiful. There is also a picture attached below, which does not capture the face, only the neck and chest. 
On her fair and slender neck, she wore a sparkling and uniquely designed diamond necklace, paired with her chest. The faint gap in front of her was particularly enticing. Chen Lin couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of water, and his mind went back with a ripple. Baby, as long as you like it, it's good. I'll go pick a bracelet for you when I have time. Chen Lin was chatting enthusiastically on his phone while lying in bed, while in the restaurant, Lu Yun quickly had breakfast and quickly took Hao Hao from Lu Man's arms. Man Man, hurry up to the clinic. There have been many flu cases lately, and Yen Yen may not be able to get busy alone. Lu Man looked at the time and it was indeed a bit late. Sister, I'll go to the clinic first. Also, don't argue with your brother. In law again over that 50,000 yuan. I'll send you the password for the card on your phone. Don't tell your brother. In law yet. When you need the money, you can only go and collect it. Lu Yun is not working now, and it is time for money. Chen Lin is becoming increasingly stingy towards Lu Yun, which is what Lu Man is worried about. Long and long. Lu Yun hesitated to speak. All right, sister, I am now taken care of by Tang Yu, and the clinic also has income. Don't be polite to me anymore. Lu Yun nodded helplessly and said, Okay, then hurry to the clinic, Hao Hao. Goodbye to Auntie. Hao Hao was also raised by Lu Man every day, and he had a very good relationship with him. He immediately raised his little hand and said in a milky voice, Goodbye, Auntie, Lu Man immediately laughed and said, Goodbye Hao Hao, Auntie will come to see you after work, Lu Man rode his little electric donkey downstairs to the clinic, and when he reached the door, he saw the busy figure of Si Nguyen. Recently, the flu has been severe and widely transmitted, especially among the elderly and children. Not to mention her small clinic, hospitals are also overcrowded. She parked the car and quickly went in to wash her hands, change clothes, and put on a mask. Seeing her coming, Si Nguyen couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. When he had free time, he walked over to her and whispered, How was your wedding night last night? Lu Man's black line whispered back to her, We met for the first time yesterday. What's going on? We don't have a room to live in right now. Si Nguyen nodded as expected and said, Yes, let's first cultivate and cultivate emotions. Well, that's what I think. Busy until noon, the number of people gradually decreased. Si Nguyen looked at the patient receiving intravenous infusion in front, while Lu Man went to make lunch for the two of them at noon. As doctors, they were well aware that eating fast food outside was not healthy, so the two of them initially set up a small kitchen behind the clinic. Si Nguyen's cooking skills are average, and she can barely make a stutter to ensure she doesn't starve to death. However, her family is wealthy and she hasn't been in the kitchen much since childhood. Lu Man is different, he has a strong independent ability, so his cooking is also particularly delicious. Si Nguyen used to joke about Lu Man, saying, if anyone marries you in the future, it will be considered a blessing. Unexpectedly, now it's cheaper than Tang Yu's guy. Man Mang, are you happy to move out of Sister Lu Yun's house, your weird brother? In dot law. Lu Man and Si Nguyen have always talked about everything, and Chen Lin's demeanor is also clear to Si Nguyen. Lu Man sighed slightly and said, he was happy when I moved out, but it's even harder for my sister to take care of the household chores alone at home. He still doesn't understand. This morning, I brought breakfast and fruits over and happened to hear him scolding my sister for not making breakfast for him. Si Nguyen frowned and tentatively looked at Lu Man, Man Man, your brother dot in dot law used to be quite good to Lu Yun. Now that things have changed so much, is there someone outside? Is it okay for men to like it or not? Lu Man also has this concern, but he hasn't dared to discuss this topic with his sister yet. After all, there is no evidence, and speaking out may affect the relationship between his brother dot in dot law and sister. I don't know, but I'm also worried. My sister has put in too much effort to take care of her family. If my brother dot in dot law really does something wrong to her, how sad should she be? Si Nguyen said helplessly, 
Sister Lu Yun shouldn't have quit her job at the hospital in the beginning. Now that her in-laws don't help take care of the children, everything at home is on her own. She can't make money and doesn't have time to dress up. Marriage is indeed a grave. After C. Nguyen finished speaking, he quickly raised his hand to cover his mouth, blinked his eyes, and looked at Lu Man across from him. Man Man, I'm not referring to everything. If you and Tang Yu develop well, we can definitely be happy. Lu Man smiled disapprovingly and said, When I chose to obtain the certificate with him, I didn't think about how happy we could be, just living together. Moreover, Tang Yu is not the kind of person who is easy to get close to, and he is also indifferent to her. Who knows what will happen between her and Tang Yu in the future? Oh, don't be so pessimistic. Grandma Tang is such a good person, and her grandson should not be far behind. Lu Man smiled and said, I hope so. By the way, my aunt is going to attend an investor's banquet tonight, and my mother insists that she take me to see the world. You can come with me, otherwise I will be very bored. Si Nguyen looked distressed. Lu Man immediately smiled and said, Auntie wants you to go fishing for a golden turtle sun. In. Law. I won't go, you can go yourself and try to bring one back. At first, the Si family was considered an average well-dot-off family in Haicheng, but Si Nguyen's grandfather liked to buy lottery tickets and spent almost half of his life buying them. One day, he won the highest prize of over 500 million yuan. Then, the Si family began to use these over 5 billion yuan investments to do business. From then on, the Si family was also considered a tycoon in Haicheng. Later, Si Nguyen's aunt successfully married into a wealthy family, and Si Nguyen's mother wanted Si Nguyen to follow her around more, hoping that one day she would also marry a decent wealthy family and squeeze into the upper-class society. End of this chapter